Hello everyone, welcome to my channel uh, uh, ASP.NET Web Form. Today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of shopping cart project. So in this project I am going to show you how to create table for shopping carts. Uh, so the, this is the essential table that is the product table and in which you can take some properties uh, or you can say some fields uh, and some columns in the in your in your product table so the first column is the uh, id property of the product table uh, id of the product and uh, the second is the product name and uh, the third is the product price so the first uh, column that is the product id is have with the integer type property and the product name is nvercare with the size of 200 characters and the product price is the decimal uh, with the decimal point and uh, the fourth column name is the company id and uh, uh, company id have with the integer types so that is the uh, simple thing you can understand i think because the uh, if you add uh, any um, id is related to the uh, newly created uh, table that is the company so you have to add uh, as a reference here so company id is the type of integer and the product description is the uh, type of anchor with the maximum number of characters inside it and the product image is anywhere care max also so after that uh, adding some fields in uh, into the table just click on the update button uh, so you can create after that you have to create your uh, product table so that's the simple thing i uh, i think you are uh, you have to uh, you are, uh, you understand very well so the next thing is uh, the next table that is a company table where your reference is directly uh, added into your table that is the product table so uh, in the company table we have three columns mandatory that is the id column uh, that is the type of integer and the second column name is the company name uh, the company name data type have with the anywhere care um, 100 characters and the company description also there uh, with the anywhere care max uh, types okay so three column is there and click on the update button so that company will be create company table will be created in the database table so uh, here we have three table that is company product and sign up so the uh, i think last table you have to create uh, that is the cart table okay so just uh, name it cart and the name uh, uh, simply indicate that uh, when you place any um, when you select any product and uh, multiple product you have to select and uh, save into the cart table so just add it product name uh, product name that is the anywhere care uh, 200 characters and the id is also there and uh, the second column name is the email id uh, where your data type is anywhere max and uh, also you can take uh, like a product uh, image uh, the data type is anywhere, mar anywhere care max and uh, the next column name is quantity quantity is always uh, you have to take integer type so that's fine and the last one is product price so this product price and the product price you can take in decimal so I think it is uh, enough in the card table you have to take uh, and just after that you have to click uh, on the update button so card table uh, have to create Okay, that's fine. Fresh it. There have we have a car table, a product table, sign up table, and the company table also. So uh, the next thing to do in the uh, project that is add a new product. So first of all, add a new web form uh, in the master in the admin folder. You can say so uh, web form with the master page and the. Uh, name of the page is add product so just click on the admin menu uh, admin folder and uh, also you can take uh, table in the content plus folder in the web form 
so just go to the HTML section just drag and drop the table where you can see table uh, some tables like HTML table you can take uh, and in which you can take some uh, fields name uh, which is related to your database table uh, which is related to product table you can say so uh, the product table have some uh, record uh, have some uh, fields you can say have some columns name so uh, the product ID product name product price product descriptions uh, is there so the thing is product ID it's not mandatory to take it in the fields because it's automatically in, uh, uh, incremented by one so you can take product name product price company product description and product image and respectively you have to take some controls from the toolbar so first of all add uh, actually visual studio will not work uh, in a web form uh, so it's also not working with the IDE so please uh, ignore the uh, these issues uh, uh, related to the zooming functions I think your uh, text is not visible in the design area uh, but if you have to uh, see in the uh, source view you uh, you can see clearly that uh, the TD in the uh, tables column we have uh, uh, some fields name like product name product price company product description product image so just in the next uh, cell of uh, the fee uh, after the field name you have to take some controls so the after the product name uh, i have to take uh, a text box control and also change the product id so sorry uh, also change the id property of the controls that is product name uh, text box is name implies that product name and product price is product price and uh, company name is company related so, so text, uh, text box one is replaced with the company so uh, in the company you have to take drop down list because um, you have to select company from the drop down list so company is the list from a drop down list and the last one is the product description so the next uh, thing is to add a uh, text box just after the product description so add a text box control just copy that and paste it here in the second cell of uh, product description so also add a new uh, uh, that is the ID property is that product image product description sorry okay and also change the multi line so text mode property is assigned with the password not multi line sorry and the next thing is to add a button control sorry product image is also there so add a file upload control first of all so file upload control just drag and drop it right here and uh, you, if you want to change the uh, id property of the file upload control then you have to change it with the product image ok that's uh, that's completed uh, the whole uh, thing which is related to the product uh, to add a newly product into the table after that you have to take some validation control just after uh, cell is there you have to take it and uh, I'm taking some uh, button control so add a new button control okay so just right click on it and go to the properties and text that is the add product add new product okay so you have to uh, change the text property of the button just double click on the button you have to define the properties of the button click when you click that button the product entries will saved into the database table 
so first of all create uh, the connection uh, um, with the database table by using the connection class you can uh, you know very well because that is already done in previous video videos also and uh, you have to check in the previous video which is related to shopping cart projects where i create uh, where i have created uh, so many connections uh, to related to the queries so that is the thing uh, con dot connection string configuration manager dot connection string dot two string here we have to add connection string thank you very much for watching